Probably the most important thing that we're going to talk about right now is your board. And a lot of people call these pillows. We will probably refer to them as a board. Um, this board is approximately two inches thick and it's made of a very dense material that is easy to stick your pins in. Um, the original ones that I purchased 37 years ago, I'm still using. They have not fallen apart or put holes in them or anything like that. They're still good. And in fact, that was the board that had my big piece of lace on that I've had for that many years. And this is the board that we will be using with the blue fabric. Um, I have them professionally cut so that they're approximately 23 to 24 inches around. That sounds like it's a big board, but if you look at lace pieces that we will be working on, you can see that board pretty well shrinks when you get a huge piece of lace on there and you don't want your bobbins falling off the edge of your pillow. This one is the, this one is the board that I brought back with me from Belgium. And so it's 37 years old and I'm still using that board. Um, the next thing too that we need to talk about is a piece of plastic. And this is a, a heavy 12 gauge vinyl and it has about a three inch hole in the center of it. And the reason why we do this is it will be placed, we'll have our cardboard first, then our pattern, and then this piece of vinyl. And your bobbins are actually going to come out where this center is cut. And the reason for that is, is as we're working, we're going to move this piece of vinyl around your board like this so that you're not catching your linen threads on the tops of the pins where you have been working. Um, I know a lot of people will just put a piece of fabric or something underneath it. Um, I was taught with the vinyl and that's what we'll be using in the class because it does move around and these bobbins stay right here in the center and it gives you plenty of width on working as you move that piece of vinyl around and you move your board around to work with that. So the flat board that we use gives us an option of making round doilies. It also works very well if we want to do just a lace trim. And so we can work with it in many ways. There are several kinds of boards. There are boards with wheels on them, but on those wheels you'll pretty well be making just lace trims that um, you won't be able to do a big round doily on a board with a wheel in the center of it. And the other thing that I like about it being flat is when you're working with the bobbins and it's a flat surface instead of a rounded surface, your, your bobbins are not going to roll off the curve of your board. They will stay where you put them. And so those are the reasons why I prefer using this flat board. And this is also, like I mentioned, what I was taught on in Brussels when I took lessons. And, and I just really like this flat board. It's easy to use. It's lightweight. Um, I can pick it up and carry it with me. If I'm going to be out of town and staying in a hotel or something like that, I can pack this up with me and have some handwork to do while we're out of town.